I'm very excited to be a dad someday. That's going to be great. I just need to find a woman to accept me first. <laughs> Hello, I just wanted to thank you for clicking on my video, and I wanted to let you know, not only do I create content in my YouTube channel here, Class in the Glass, but I'm also on Twitch, where I play single-player games, multiplayer games, I do movie reviews, cartoon reviews, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Also, it would be a big help if you can check out my Patreon, where you can gain access to uh, audio commentaries, reactions, and the ability to submit questions for my podcasts and video cast and all that content can be found in the links below in the meantime enjoy the video boom dream daddy let's play it chat let's do it remember it was too hot <laughs> there's there's joseph chat and his lovely children aren't they just beautiful aren't they adorable <laughs> it's lovely here uh ever play hitman blood money yeah oh yeah back in the day yeah oh yeah not on stream but just in general definitely no question about it for Sean Chris, just remember when you play the uh, Sago Six Layer tonight, don't let the game get to you. You're the one controlling him. Exactly. Dream Daddy. Dream Daddy. Dream Daddy. Ooh, are you feeling it now? You feeling it now, chap? Hell yeah, I'll continue. I'm on dad book. That's the one. That's the one, Chad. Welcome. You've got dads. <gasps> I have dads. Dad book. Oh, let's see. Here's my wonderful daughter, Amanda. I love her. Now, we got lust after. We're lusting after Matt, the barista, chat. Let's go after him. Avid music enthusiast. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know nothing about music. Passionate coffee drinker. You f you can find me most days selling bean juice over at the Coffee Spoon. Or hanging out at the park with my amazing daughter. Hit me up about 80s no-wave music. On a Friday night, you're most likely to perfect my cold brew setup. One drip at a time, baby. If you had one thing to take with you on a desert island, what would it be? Fine tunes to pass the days away. What are your turn-ons? Multi-instrumentalism. What did you want to be when you grew up? A barista. Weirdly enough. Well, that's fucking convenient. Good for you. My way speak. I can't see the other the hot dad speak. I'm gonna message him. I'm gonna message uh, uh, Matt. He must be mine. Matt is is so sexy. I love him and his body. Daddy, where's the sex dad group? I, I, it will happen soon enough. You must woo them, of course. We must woo them, Chad. That's the way of Daddy DeVito. I navigate to Matt's dad book page and type out a message. Hey man, great getting to see you at the barbecue. We should definitely hang soon. You you free later. A minute too late, I hear a ding and see Matt's response. Hey dude, I'd be so down for that. I'm actually catching a show tonight at the Soundgard. Want to come out? I think for a moment. What's a Soundgarden? It's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listened to back when it was cool to have soul patches. Oh man, I have been to a real concert since Amanda was born. Am I ready for this? Well, I'm thinking. Another message pops up on the screen. Ba ba boom. Pop is playing tonight. Cool little indie pop punk uh, rock band out of Canada. Should be a fun one. I didn't know you were allowed to string that many words together to describe a band. Whatever. Let's get out of our comfort zone. Okay, I didn't. Okay. I log off that book and think for a second. Wait, when was the last time I went to a concert? I mentally backtracked decades through memories of denim jean jackets and a moral panic over teenagers turning uh, to the occult. Oh, God! I had a mom back then. Oh, God, it was cool. Oh, God, other people thought it was cool. I thought I remember the strange 80s prog rock I used to listen to and mentally envision all of the airbrush vans in the parking lot. Man, how did anyone survive the 80s? It was a mystery. Okay, so I haven't been to a concert in a long time. What do you even do at concerts now? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I spend most of the day pacing around the house thinking about my relationship with coolness. I mean, I always thought I was cool, at least relative to a bunch of other dads my age. Dad, what are you doing? My daughter's also Kratos. I look over and see a man at the door just getting home from school. Her eyes are a little puffy, almost as if she's been crying. No, my sweet, I'm just crying. No! Lost me a welcome to the stream. Hope you are doing well today. Hey, what's wrong, Panda? Manda Panda. If I ever name my daughter uh, Amanda Chat, she'll be now known as Manda Panda. 
Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, I'm gonna be a great dad. I'm gonna be a great dad. Manda Panda. I'm gonna just name my daughter Amanda so I can just call her Manda Panda. Then she get mad. So like, stop calling me that dad. I was like, never. <laughs> That's a wonderful. Oh, nothing. I'm fine. I just got sad because I realized that society collectively refuses to take pop music seriously, despite the fact that some of the most interesting musical innovations are coming out of that genre. Name the kid I also named the kid Panda. That is also true. I think this is another thing that we write off because we can't take your woman or your interest seriously. Are you sure that's all you're upset about? You tell me what's actually wrong. That is pretty messed up. Uh, are you sure? Is there, you know, anything going on? I just want you to know that I'm here for you. I'll always be here for you. I love you, man the panda. Whether you need a shoulder to cry in or a strong dad to kick someone's butt, I'm only a phone call away. Hmm. Thanks, Popsicle. I appreciate that. <laughs> but I'm fine. Really. No, she's not. She's she's lying to me again. I can, I can imagine your future daughter saying to her friend, Yeah, my dad is an alcoholic who plays video games and reads a rock fan base for a living. <laughs> Take your dad. My mom. Well, there's a... Oh my god. What well, if there's a fucking day where it's like take your take your dad to work day or something? Or take your dad to uh, school and it's like, well, children <laughs> I play video games. I dress up as a fictional character <laughs> and read erotic fiction about said character. I also do audio commentaries and video commentaries for movies and cartoons. <laughs> Hey, that thing's been like, they'll be like, cool. Panda, <laughs> is your dad a fur? That'd be amazing. If that fucking happens, chat, it's fucking worth it. Fucking, I'm gonna be a great dad. I was, I'm very excited to be a dad someday. That's gonna be great. I just need to find a woman to accept me first. <laughs> but I'm fine, really. I'm unconvinced, but I'll stop badging her about it. I'm sure she'll tell me when she's ready. Chris writes the Patreon link on the board. <laughs> God damn it. Class in a glass. Chat. Class in a glass. <laughs> also, here is my OnlyFans link. Class for your ass. <laughs> oh, I said the thing. Uh oh, I said out. Oh, fucking cares. Ah, <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. Josh, well, I'll get you pregnant. <laughs> I think I'm smaller than no one will notice. I'm unconvinced. I read the fucking thing. There you go. Ah. Anyway, what's up? Mm -hmm. Amanda, how do I be cool? Hmm. Let me put on a pot of coffee first. This is gonna take a long night. No, seriously. Man, invite me to a concert. I don't think I've been to one since you were born. Ugh. Yeah, you have. You took me to one when I was 12, remember? I'm so overwhelmed by my memory of sea of screaming preteens. Oh. Oh, God. I tried hard to forget. Mm? Can you... <laughs> God, like... Getting class, Mr. Herman does Sonic. Fucks hard. <laughs> The one where I had to camp out with you in line so you could get a good spot, and then you cried and screamed the whole time? Hmm. Dad! It was so much more than that. I'm not even ashamed to say it. Oh, you're not ashamed? You seemed pretty ashamed when I found all those drawings you made of those dancing boys kissing in your trapper keeper. Hmm. Yeah, well, you didn't even find the good stuff. Hmm. Anyway, you should be all set for the concert if you remember that. Just bring a big, glittery sign and cry a lot, and you'll fit right in. Well, it's uh, at a smaller place, and I think Matt mentioned that they're a punk band. Huh? Like DIY gutter punk, trash, straight edge. Come on, Dad, give me something to work with here. Hmm. Are they post punk, proto punk, C punk, Jeremy punk? What's Jeremy punk? I made that one up to see if I could get away with it. Eh? Thought, thought. Huh? They're not positive hardcore, are they? Um, he said that they're. Canadian punk? Huh. Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. Does the idea of Canadian punk seem contradictory to you? I don't see friendship and politeness as core tenets of the punk scene. Mm. Come to the point, I'm sorry, I can't triple S, gotta go fast, gotta go hard. <laughs> Justin, hold to heart, welcome to stream, hope you're doing very well, good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, punk is kind of a big genre. It might not be as dangerous as you think it is. Huh. It became so much more than just counterculture rebellion. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, just enjoy the music. Dot, dot, dot. That's it? Huh. I mean, yeah. It's not like you're going to jump into the mosh pit or anything. Uh. Well, that's comforting. 
And if a strange dude in a set your goals hoodie offers you to buy you merch, don't accept it. And definitely don't go on three awful dates with him afterward where he takes you to a nice restaurant and then forgets his wallet literally three times in a row. What? Huh. Never mind. Just have a blast tonight. Okay. I love you, Mandy Panda. I show up to the coffee spoon at 8, and what I hope is a constant appropriate attire. I see Matt out front, locking the door to the shop. Hey, uh... Hey, you made it. Ready for tonight? Well, it's been a while. Yes, of course. I definitely know what I'm talking about. Ready? I was born ready. I'm gonna say it's been a while. Man, I got man, I haven't been to a real concert since Pat Rocks were cool. I had no idea what I'm in for. Hmm. Did your daughter make you take her to one of those boy band concerts where everybody holds signs and scream, and scream cries? Yeah. Hey. I got you lined up next month. I still can't get the glitter out of my car from the last one. Yes, we have much to go. Stay strong, Dad. Hey. But, dude, I got to take you to the first concert in a long time? This is going to be awesome. Just hang with me, Daddy, and you'll be good. This scene is super supportive. It'll be a blast. I love Dream Zaddy more than I should. Yay! I'm glad, Emerald. I am glad. You love Daddy DeVito. He is a hot, strapping, egg-nipped man. Quick question. Oh. Shoot. What is scene? <laughs> now that's out a tiny laugh. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, sorry. It's just weird because C is describing a music scene. It pertains to a community of people who like the same genre, but can also describe a genre of music no one wants to admit they were into. Matt looks off into the middle distance. He says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking, never again. That's confusing. Hey. You'll get it. The important thing tonight is that you enjoy yourself. Come on, let's head up to the show. At the way in a short line to get in, if I find myself in a small venue of a stage at one end and a bar at the other. Most people here are close to a man his age than mine. I suddenly feel out of place. My whining, my waning youth is showing. I am suddenly aware of my mortality. When were the good years in my life? Will man to love me when as we both grow older? Wait, is C Punk actually a genre? Film We watched Fellowship of the Ring today, such a pure and definitive fantasy film. Which we Lord of the Rings movie, uh my uh, I think it's Fellowship. I love, I love all three. They're both better than sexes, but I think I'd have to go with Fellowship. Fellowship, because it also has the most practical effects in it. Something about the movies, is this, is this amazing to me? Absolutely fucking adore Fellowship of the Ring. But all of them are great, all of them are great. Glad you enjoyed it, Film Freak. Happy to have you here. Matt, you made it. Who's this? Wait, what? A younger kid runs up and high fives Matt. Hmm. The kid runs off, Matt turns to me, shuddering. I get nervous when people surprise high five me. Me too. Hey. I'm like a small animal. Loud noise and large groups of people frighten me. Do you also enjoy cleaning up in a patch of sunlight to take a nap? Hey. That's my favorite thing to do. A couple other people notice that Matt is in the crowd and yell, hey, as well. Hey. Matt waves and hugs a couple people. <laughs> he seems really in his element here. Favorite miracle period? Let's It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Hey. Matt turns attention back to me. Hmm. I'm so afraid of all of these people. Oh. Let's go grab a beer. Matt and I line up at the bar in the back where a couple of the older concert goers hang out. A couple more people know us, Matt, and dip their drinks at him. Hey. Seems like you're a popular guy out here. Hey. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, I uh, get to a lot of shows. It's a really cool spot. Hey. But it's time like these where I realize I can only be charming and funny for about five minutes before I run out of stuff to talk about. Hey. Then I become keenly aware of my, where my hands are. Hmm. That there's no kind of place in, in your mouth for your tongue to rest. God damn, where do I put my tongue? Hey. See? Well, I've known you for more than five minutes, and I still think you're charming and funny. Just you wait. Oh. We grab our drinks. This scene seems really friendly. I don't know why people would want to admit that they listen to it. <laughs> huh. Let's check out the merch. Merch chat. Let's see what we got here. Hey. Let's see what we have. Whoa, look at this guy. Man, I walk into a small booth in the corner of the room where a crusty looking teenager got a selection of shirts and records. He signals me out from across the room and hops up on his chair. Step on up, get your merch here. I got t shirts, I got tank tops, I got all the gifts and acronyms a discerning concert goer of considerable taste might want. You! I gestured to myself, my face flushing red. Yes, you! You like a fellow who knows their music. How's about a fine 12-inch long playing vinyl record made and distributed by Pup, Kansas premier punk rock outfit? Uh, tally-ho, good sir. Please stop yelling at me. <laughs> tally-ho, good sir. 
Well, see here, fine shopkeeper, your enthusiastic salesmanship is aroused by interest and suspicion in equal parts. How can I, a consumer of finer goods in life, trust your wares to be true of spirit? A fine question from a deserting patron. Okay, Pablo, you can give it a rest. Oh, shit. The teen hops off his chair and takes a seat. Your friend looks so, uh, looks lost, so I figured I'd give him the whole razzle-dazzle. How, how the hell are you, Matt? Ah, hey. uh, day by day, my man. They do that thing where they high-five but also turn it into a hug. Hey. Your mom doing better? She's still single. If you want to be my dad, I can make that connect. <laughs> I want to be the dad. You have to deal with you every single day? Fair enough. Who's your bud? Oh. That's daddy. Thought I'd bring out the, to the concert, pal. Pablo leans close to Matt. I don't like this. It makes me undisturbed. I don't like it! Someone got paid to write this game. Yep, they did. Yes, they fucking did. And they earned every goddamn penny. Philosophical, thank you for the fall. You're my Huckleberry. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing very well on this fine Saturday evening. Good to see you. Good to see you, my friend. Pablo leans close to Matt. Is daddy cool? Hmm. Matt eyes me. I eye him back. Hmm. He cracks a smile. Hey. Yeah. Paulo brings him in for a bro hug. My dude! I'm not sure what to say, but give the courtesy two pats in the back, as is customary in our society for people you don't know super well, but still want to be friendly to. Two pats, shit. Two pats. Hey. Pre pandemic. Paulo's total card. Kid plays the hell of a bass. Yeah, man. When are we starting on our witch house band? Hey. You know, I'm out of the game. It's a shame. You know, vacant veil uh, with a triangle would have slayed. <laughs> I'll slay you once you start actually making music instead of just printing a bunch of band shirts. We got the sickest logo. Oh, well, Matt and Pablo talk. I check out the merch. These shirts are really nice. Hey, yeah. Looks like the opener's coming on. Let's get a spot up close. Let's fucking do it, baby. Let's fucking do it. Man, I walk over the stage where a crowd begins to form. The band walks on stage and picks up a variety of strange instruments. Is that a harpsichord? The lead singer addressed the crowd. He had a mandolin slung behind his back. Mm. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're John the Jones and the Shakes Easy Choir. My name is Daniel. Let's start the show. Mm. Oh, no. These guys. What? Without time to respond, the band starts playing the most cacophonous noise I've ever heard. What is this? Matt doesn't say anything. He just hands me earplugs. Thanks. I put the earplugs in. And when the hell is assault in my ears, gets a lot quieter. For a band this bad, they sure do seem to be having fun. I guess that's what really matters. Hey. Jesus, did that show just break his bow in half? I don't get it. The set seems to go on forever. There's no breaks in the songs, and I think one of the band members' job is specifically just to burn poetry on stage. I turn to Matt and try to start a conversation. So you got a lot of concerts out here, huh? Hmm. What? Ask again. So you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? What? <laughs> you can't hear me, so I just stop and try to enjoy the music. Oh, shit, Jay. Here we go. People are dying horrifically, and it makes me sad. Oh. Okay. No, this is impossible. How long have they been playing the same song? 10 minutes? 20? A year? I don't fucking know. Eventually, eventually the set ends, but only after the drummer sprains his ankle during his saxophone solo. They promised it was part of the act as he was carried off stage crying. Yeah, it sounds like both of the Simpsons meets Carl from Aquatine. Goddamn right he does. Hmm. Man, I both pull our earplugs out. Hmm. Man, that was something. Arm around me, and we jump back into the circle, bashing onto youths. Left and right, his pup plays a killer solo. <laughs> I know you mess with the pit. Hey. Me neither. I can't believe this. I'm having fun. I'm a little mad that I didn't stretch before physical activity, but I'm having fun. The song ends, and the pit finally dissipates. Everyone cheers on pup. Maybe I only got enough pit energy for one song. <laughs> All right, man. Let's retreat. We'll show these kids how it's done another day. Oh. We work our way back to a more comfortable spot in the crowd and enjoy the rest of the show from the safe distance. Pup put on the amazing set and basically had to beg themselves off stage after their encore. With the concert over, the crowd starts making their way to the exit. Hey. Hey, I'll meet you outside. Yes, Tomo. Yes, eggplants. I'll meet you outside. Got to say bye to a couple people. Very good. Very good show. I'm outside the venue until Matt finally shows up. Hey, man, thanks for waiting. I got you a present. Oh, I love presents. 
Man has me a t-shirt I was looking at earlier. Whoa, thanks, man. Hey, dude. Saw your eyeball on the back of the merch booth. Hey. And I mean, anyone who tears it up there on their first time back to come deserves a reward. The youths will finally accept me. Amanda will love this. I'm never taking this off. I will continue wearing it until it's tatted and a little smelly. It's like a truly embodied punk fashion. Hey, Matt. Hey, yeah. Hey, it's Pop. Whoa, it's Pop Chat. Hey, dude, didn't realize you were here. They all talk in unison, chat. Hey. I'm still a guy can make it. You guys put on a great show. Thanks. Hey. We'll see you around. Wait, you know Pup? Oh. oh, yeah. Met him a couple of times when they first started touring. Good kids. Whoa. Hey. Come on, let's grab some uh, diner food. I certainly just how hungry I am. Man, Mosh Butch takes a lot out of you. This is good. Matt and I walked into a tiny little diner with a cute neon sign. We tear into some bacon and eggs in a corner booth. Hell yeah, oh. chat. Yeah, breakfast for dinner. So then I'm in the so I'm in a pit trying to explain the face tattoo guy that I didn't mean to elbow him in the face tattoo. He's already seen red. Not from the tattoo, which clearly was red. He's a lumbering toward me, and there's nowhere to go. Hmm. That's the end for me, right? Then out of nowhere, I get this idea. I just lean back and spread my arms, and I'm just like that. I'm crowd serving my way away from him in slow motion. You should have seen the look on his face. Hey. Bomb a beer afterward, and we were cool. We're still following each other on social media. He's beautiful kids. Glad you guys worked that out. Hey. Yeah, man. Just go show you that punk's not dead. It just drives a minivan and has to hire a babysitter. So how do you get to see all these amazing concerts? Hey, dude. Ah, I used to tour in a band. We were small, but it got us travel around the states. Whoa. Uh... Yeah, I mean, we're poor. And we had to scrape a lot together just to survive. But I wouldn't trade those uh, experiences for anything. Hey. Uh, Joe, the moment I get my ear going for this game, is it's fucking crazy. But yeah, that's how I knew a bunch of those people at the show. Music like this builds an amazing community, especially in a town like this. Just a lot of positive energy and good vibes. I got that feeling. Plenty of friendly people, especially that Pablo kid. Hey. Oh, man, everybody loves Pablo. His mom's been raising him on his own. You can tell that's been uh, tough on both of them. He looks up to me, so I try to help him out whenever I can. That's really nice of you. Hey. Thanks. Uh, single parents just really have to look out for each other. How's Comencita? She says she wants to learn the drums. Oh, boy. Oh. It'll be loud. I'll need to take a lot of aspirin, but I'll manage. Can't really blame her. I'm suddenly very grateful that all my daughter's hobbies are super quiet. Photography, collaging, whatever it is that she does on the internet. Thank you, Amanda Panda. Hmm. I'm trying to be supportive of Comencita's rebellious phase, but I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of it, doesn't it? I think it will be a good daddy daughter activity to find something to rebel against together. Hey. Like what? Fashion, consumerism, big budget remakes of foreign films. <laughs> consumerism! <laughs> Why we gotta get up early and have to Thanksgiving left to buy things? Why can't we like share things? Comrade, mm. speaking of dangerous things here. <laughs> he and I laugh. We keep digging into our big plates of greasy dining food. The breakfast order for dinner is absolutely hitting the spot. Yes, bacon egg shed helps my tummy. Hmm. Man. Hey. Being a single dad is rough sometimes. It's a lonely feeling. I understand that all too well. I mean, at least we have the rest of the dads to talk to. Hey. Yeah. I just, I don't know. Hmm. I get really nervous sometimes talking to people. Man gets nervous talking to people, but he's so cool. Me too! I've never really considered myself an extrovert, and I really consider myself an introvert. I'm just uncomfortable in every situation always. Hey. Ah, oh, you're fine. You're actually least to talk to. You know that? I smile. Man and I spend the rest of the night trading daughter stories. Turns out our kids are a lot alike. Yeah, finish up our late night dinners and head out. I'm about to bust. <laughs> <laughs> we walked back to the cul de sac back to our respective houses. Oh. Tonight was a blast, man. Loved it. Well, I'm probably going to feel it in my knees in the morning. <laughs> you and me both. Hmm. I uh, usually like going on these things alone. It's really nice and cool to have you there with me. I'm glad. Hey. All right. Call it quits for the night. Stay cool, man. He called me cool. Matt called me cool. He thinks I'm cool. Yeah. I walk in the house with my heart in my throat, and Amanda pops her head out from her room. Huh? Hey, Pops, how was the show? 
Matt thinks I'm cool. Hmm. You don't say. Manda Panda, Matt thinks I'm cool. <laughs> Blindly in the blind, huh? Wow, I just got dunked on by my own child. Unbelievable. Hey, Amanda, remind me of which one of us just tore up the pit at the punk show, and which one of us just spent four hours probably watching Tiny House Hunting Amish Triplets Extreme Edition. First of all, how dare you? That show is a classic. Second of all, you moshed in the pit. Who even are you? I am your extremely cool dad. <laughs> all right, I'm hitting the hay, Pops. I'll see you in the pit. Night, kiddo. Love you, Mandy. <laughs> Dad did them 19. Use your hips when dancing. Date complete. Fuck yeah. Ooh, I got some dad points, Chad. Ooh, I got, to, I got a score of a, a B. Good. Could use a trombone, though. Oh, no. I hope I can do better next time. But I must lust after him. It's what I must do. All right, Chad. It's going to get, get harder. It's going to get harder and harder for me here. While I'm doing my afternoon wind jumbles, I hear the mail truck pull through the cul-de-sac. I wonder if we got any coupons today. The nice mail person slides a couple of letters in a large yellow envelope through a slot. It takes a couple of tries for them to get it in. Ooh, it's a, it must be one of those college admissions. Hey, my coupons. I think it was a look at the large uh, yellow envelope. Mmm. I let me knock Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Amanda. She yells at the door. What? I have something for you. I'm kind of busy right now. Can you come back later? Are you masturbating? <laughs> Kratos, Manda Panda, are you masturbating in there? <laughs> I brought it. A B for Happy Black History Month. That's right. <laughs> Honey, what you're doing is completely natural. It's okay. I saw things. I saw things, and it's fine. You know, it's okay. <laughs> Shut up, Dad. I'm busy. Okay, just thought you wanted this big envelope from HIA. <laughs> Immediately, Amanda pushes her door open. Horn Institute for the Arts. I mean, if you're busy, I can come back. Father, please. I hand her the envelope, which she tears open with her teeth. Yeah, it's probably bad for your teeth. She doesn't seem to hear me and spits out a piece of envelope. She pulls out a letter and unfolds it. Huh. And? The suspense is killing me. This is her dream school. Amanda's face is unreadable. Hmm. I can't believe this. Oh, honey, it's okay if you didn't. <laughs> I got in. Oh, I got in. Amanda tosses the letter aside and gives me a big hug. Yes, congrats, sweetie. That's amazing. Strange thing about Daddy DeVito. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Smooches. Head kiss, head kiss. <laughs> she pulls away and looks at the letter again. Oh, my God. I really can't believe I got in. Well, of course you got in. You're a great student. You nailed that interview, and your photography is incredible. Hmm. Wait. Dad. Mm. I know this one's really expensive, and it's so far away. I think for a moment, HA was one of the more expensive schools that man applied to, but I know she's had her heart uh, set on it for the longest time. Power bomb, Daddy DeVito. That's what we all need in our lives. It'll be tough, but we're gonna make it work. Mm. Really? Of course. Amanda hugs me again. Yes. Thanks, Dad. Okay, sweetie, we're celebrating tonight. Dinner, your choice, wherever you want. Yeah. Wherever. I made a mistake. Amanda and I walk along the bayside, tearing into our full wrap reels from a nearby food truck. You could have chosen anyone in Maple Bay. Cost was not a determining factor. Please, Dad, you know I'm a simple gal. Just give me a retail with a view. I can't say I'm mad. A man then I sit on a patch of grass and watch ships sail lazily through the bay. Ha! And the dorms are right near a bunch of cafes, and there are all these galleries nearby, and there's a discount if you bring your student ID. And Amanda, slow down. You're gonna choke on your burrito, your rito, Amanda. I know, I'm just excited. So I mentioned the students get their own studio space once they're seniors, and we get all the professional photo editing software for free. 
It's nice to see Amanda so enthusiastic about HIA. But I knew she wouldn't do it in between bites of a burrito. I thought I taught her to chew with her mouth closed. She's not doing that. It's falling all over herself. It's terrible. I wonder who's my roommate's gonna be. You can take a survey online, and they match you with someone with a similar major and interest. I bet we're gonna be best friends. Boy, Craig and I were. A good roommate can be a lifelong friend. Joe, who wrote this, Sophie Campbell. Who's Sophie Campbell? But don't even get me started on bad roommates. Oh, hey, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I'm just kidding. We did have a bad roommate. Our only other roommate was a puppy that Craig brought home one night. We spent a semester fabricating a story about our new foreign exchange student who had a really bad cough. It's not exactly like a dog's bark. <laughs> Carl ruled. <laughs> oh, then you left the animals in the dorms if you get notes saying you need one. I bet I could get for a forge one. I think I'm get, I'll get a rabbit. Or maybe a snake. Or maybe both. Would the snake eat a rabbit, though? Yes. Oh, boy. I think I'll leave all that up to you. That's your decision. That's not my decision. She's so excited. I don't want to disappoint her, but I need to be real first. I gotta get real here. I gotta get real here, Joe. I gotta get fucking real here, all right? So, you know I had that talk with Mr. Vega. Hmm. He didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? What? No. Hmm. I don't want to put a damp on the good news, but I need you to knock out of the park these last few months of school, okay? If you really want to go to Horns, we need that scholarship money. I know you can do it. <laughs> okay. I promise I'll try harder. She's gonna cry. Don't cry, my man. The pain. Don't cry, man. The pain. I pat it on the back. Think you can handle a 14-hour drive to come home for the holidays? There's gonna be some treacherous ice roads to cross. You don't even give me star on the paranormal occurrences. Well, I'll be, it'll be worth it to see you, father. My eyes nearly well up with tears. Hmm. Oh, Dad, don't cry. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm so very proud of you. Yo, grown up, and you're such a good person, and I hope you know how poor you are to me. <coughs> Dad, stop. You're going to make me cry, too. It's too late, honey. It's happening. <coughs> Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's going to make it stay sad. I pull a man in for a and a kiss on the forehead. And smooch. Nah. I love you, kiddo. <laughs> love you too, pops. Yes. <laughs> she cover her. She writes for Oni Press. Yes. <laughs> She's crying about having to wear that Sonic suit again. No, Mr. Target. No, I'm crying for the. <laughs> I'm, I'm acting. Acting. <laughs> Good to have you, Mr. Target, Mr. Sweet. Let me. Funny how this game can be legitimately kind of sweet. Oh, it absolutely is. I love this game. I love the writing in the game. I think it's so uh, it's so over the top. That's the that's the point though. It's supposed to be corny, particularly with these father daughter. Oh, the father daughter, like Manda Panda's adorable. I love Manda Panda. She, I, I hope I can get a daughter as cool as her, as she is, Chaz, as as cute as she is someday. That'd be great. Oh, dad book. Daddy, listen, this is you from the past. <gasps> Whoa, how'd this happen? Oh my god. Hi, Daddy. It's me, your dear old friend. Oh, I already read that one. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to Matt again. I'm gonna keep talking to Matt. I'm gonna message Matt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep. No, I wanna woo him again. I'm gonna woo him. I'm wooing him again, Chef. This is what I must do. This is what I must do. Drink a full glass of water. I can't read that fast. Does anyone who likes their meat well done? Good dad tip. Rare to medium, medium rare is the is the is the is the most you can cook it. Medium rare, but very very good. Guys, gonna hit the hey. Have a good one, Chris and Chad. You guys, thank you for all the support. Appreciate your good sir. Sleep well, stay warm. Bill Gates, can you fuck yourself in the past? Maybe, maybe. Can Sonic move so fast that he can actually fuck himself? Can he do that? Like at the same time, could it like go? It's just like maybe. These are these are good questions. These are good questions. Maybe I can lust after myself now. That'll be, that'll be very nice. I like my meat well done, and I'll fight anyone who says I'm wrong. I'm gonna have to fight you, Mr. Dog. I gotta fight. We gotta fight. Let's go, bro. Let's go. No. You enjoy your, your your meat however you want to enjoy it. I mean, whatever everyone else likes, that's on you. But for me, uh, done, well done. Well done. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Mm. I'm drinking alcohol, chat. I'm not putting any ice in it because it's just so cold. It's so cold here. So I just got my uh, my black... Uh, cherries, black cherry soda water chat with my whiskey and mango pineapple juice, but no ice. It's not gonna like fisting, that's the only way he can get off. It's the fisting. I should know, I read the chapter where he fists. 
It's true. I'm not joking, by the way. I'm about to say no ice. Damn, dude. I know. I can't do it. It's too cold. It's too cold. I don't want to chill. I'm wearing a hoodie over my Sonic suit. Normally, I got little shorts. So usually, I wouldn't have this, but I have to because I'm so cold. I don't turn the heat on in my apartment. Do the Jedi welcome to stream. Just take a moment to drink profusely. Hope you're doing well. Instead of messaging the guy, why don't I just uh, walk over and grab some coffee? I'm feeling really sluggish today. Anyway, let's do it. Let's do it. Amanda, Amanda Panda. Huh. Amanda sticks her head out of her room. Father! Want to go with a coffee spoon? <laughs> oh, so you can get cold, cool once, and now you're the cool dad who hangs out at coffee shops and listens to Neo Jazz and stuff. Amanda. <laughs> Are you going to bring your laptop and your leather-bound journal so you can work on your poetry anthology? Look, honey, do you want me to buy you coffee or not? <laughs> Let me grab my laptop and my leather-bound journal. <laughs> oh, I love my daughter. She's great. Oh, well, you better not be hitting on my dog. Be very upset. Amanda and I make the show. I'll go with a coffee spoon. The place is quiet today. Uh, just a few people hanging out and reading books in their cozy little nooks. I walk up to the counter and see a familiar pierced face. Hey, you were the dude I yelled at a bunch of the other night. Oh. Amanda casts a sideway glance at me. He tried to sell me shirts. And who might you be, miss? Uh. This is my daughter, Amanda. Person I'm a father to and I'm very protective of. <laughs> In order to make your acquaintance, my name is Bob Lowe. I mentioned that I make the Witch House music. Hmm. I wouldn't call Witch House music, but okay. Ooh, fuck. Ugh. A piercing blow to my ego. Though not that one will dissuade me my need to impress you. My innate dad senses tingle. I am overwhelmed with a flatter, fatherly protective energy. I must do something to protect my child. Change the subject. Defend Witch House. We are proper lines from Taken. Listen here, Pablo. <laughs> I have a very specific set of skills to, um, I can type pretty fast for people my age. <laughs> There's one. This one on a Valentine's weekend Zoom event and got some matches. I feel happy. Tiberius Monk. Happy to hear that. Welcome to the stream. How you doing tonight? Congratulations. Congratulations. Everybody just took a jab at a house music. Kill it. Kill a fire. <laughs> I'm doing all cheers and salute to Mr. Hypes and the chat for this month. Congratulations, my friend. May the wings live in every little feather. You shake those as we speak. Happy to have you here. I'll start off those goddamn Mr. Revenues, Mr. Hypes for you, my friend. Yes. The yes and the Hypes to your success. There you go. Boom, baby. Mm -hmm. If you so much as harm a ham like that his head, I'll come in for you at a comfortable 80 words per minute after I practice a little. <sighs> Dad! Daddy! Hmm. Matt comes out from washing dishes in the back room to meet Amanda and I. He and I high five as fellow cool people do. Hmm. I see you met my newest employee. At your service, though I've only a hair until Vacant Vale starts their world tour. When's that? Well, we have to put out a record first. All right, Bobble. Now, what do we do with customers again? Right, yeah. Pablo clears his throat. Hello, good folk of Maple Bay. Can I interest you in a tasty caffeinated beverage? <laughs> a smashy pumpkin spice latte, please. A classic. And you? American football, decaf, acuity, Father John, Mist. I'm going to go uh, Americano football. I'm going to go with the Father John Misto. I don't know what that is, but I like it. Father John. Father John Misto, please. Aww. <laughs> that might be the worst pun I've ever heard. <laughs> hey, it's pure comedy. Yeah, pun's the highest form of comedy. Hey. Oh, I was making a joke off. Father John Misty was an album called Pure Comedy, and the drink is named after Father John Misty, so I was, yeah, never mind. Coming right up, bro. Papa gets to work making our drinks while Matt observes him. Hey. The coffee's named after artists. It actually it legitimately is, yes. Hell, he'll get the hang of it for as goofy of a dude as he is. Kid works hard. Hey, man, that concert was a lot of fun. We should hang out again. Oh. Hell yeah. Hey. I'm actually going to be done training Pablo in a couple hours. And I was going to go record shop, go record shopping. Want to come along? Absolutely. Oh. Pablo brings us our drinks and Amanda buries herself in the laptop. I spend my time sipping my drink and cracking jokes with Matt. Last time we hung out, he told me he had trouble hanging out with other people. For some reason, he and I could talk like old buds. It's weird. I feel really comfortable around him. Yes, Chad's happening. The lust is my eyes. He says the same lust. 
Once Matthews comes, we'll leave Pablo on his own. I said goodbye to a man, then we start walking to the record store. Yeah, sounds great. You ever been here before? No, I mean, we have a record player sitting in the living room, but all I have are two copies of Frampton Comes Alive. Hey. Oh, this should be fun then. We're going to find you some good stuff. Yeah. Walls of the record store, pack the posters, artwork, stickers, records. Few people mill around flapping through milk crates of albums. Some indie bands playing through the speakers. It has a nice vibe. Nice vibe, Charlie. So, why do people still buy records? Is it kind of day at this point? Oh. A lot of people would still try to tell you that vinyl sounds warmer or more true to the artist's intent, but really, I think it's just nice to collect records. Hey. It's cool that in this day and age, we just have about every song ever created available instantaneously on our phones. But there's something about holding an album and getting to see the artwork in your hands that I always love. Hey. That's why I try to get as many of the records that I love in physical form as possible. Remember when we were kids, we'd have to wait around by the radio with a cassette tape so that we record our favorite songs? Oh! Maybe each listen really special. And mixtapes are even cooler because of uh, how much work they took. Now you just make a playlist. I think the last time someone gave me a real mixtape was in high school. Oh my god, I'm old, I'm dying, I'm turning to dust. Hey. I look around multi-level record store and spot some genres. Future Wave, Jungle, and Acropunk. Non-sploitation. I have no idea the way to even start. I don't understand these words. Doing some tacos while we're Oh, no, I can go for some tacos. Listen, I haven't eaten all day. All I've had is coffee and alcohol. Not a great combination on empty stomach. I would literally, literally kill for some tacos. Who, do, who can I strangle? Who can I strangle for tacos? I will do it. Taco, taco. Man, it's a little overwhelming. Hey. Here, let me help you find something you might like. If you were a milkshake, what flavor would you be? Cookies and cream, vanilla, strawberry, purple. <laughs> Give me that purple stuff, baby. Oh. You can only buy one type of candle scent from the rest of your life. What would it be? Daffodil Mountain Spring, Camouflage Summer Breeze, Spring Creek Fireball, Power Violence Cherry Blossom. Hmm. <laughs> what's your favorite ambient? Me, what's your favorite ambient sound? Yeah, I mean, he's gonna help me. yeah, I know. I know. I know. That was a very busy day. I know. You're right. You're When you're right, you're right, Dutch Lane. You are absolutely right. You are right. Usually I do. Usually I, I do meal prep just today. I just haven't eaten yet. Uh, Power Mountains is a genre, by the way. <laughs> Rain. Bowling Alley. Star Trek Parade of Agianos. House of the Bone Course. I don't know what that is. I'm going to pick it. What's your dream vacation spot? Eating something, damn. I know. I know. I got to eat something. My backyard, inside an active volcano, living off the fat of the land in Ibiza, start a new life in the Baltics. I don't want to go to the Baltics. I'm going to live off the fat. Yeah. Yeah. That one. What's your deepest, darkest fear? I worry that people are nice to me only because they want uh, something from me. I feel that I don't deserve happiness and won't ever get it. Oh. Well, if nobody is this but me, and I fabricated this universe, saying you too, with a way it tells you enjoy your food. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> That's the one. Matt thinks for a moment. Mmm. What? Oh, I know. Just the thing. Hey. Matt runs to the other end of the store and returns holding the record behind his back. He shows it to me. This is Smokey Roll. Is this is Smokey Rolls Down Thunder Cannon by Devandra Banhard. Sounds like what you need is some Devandra Banhard. Actually, I think everyone needs a little a bit of Devandra Banhard in their lives. WWJBD. What would Jack Burton do? I ask myself that every goddamn day. I live by Jack Burton chat, okay? He is one of America's greatest heroes. Defeated Dave Lopan. People thought he was a fool. Defeated the bad guy at the end of the movie. He got his fucking truck back now, didn't he? It's American spirit. American spirit chat. Boy, I got uh, OnlyFans now. He thinks he don't need it for anymore. I know, right? If you're interested in the OnlyFans, by the way, uh, I mean, it's, it's a fucking fuck. The OnlyFans is out there. You know it's the OnlyFans. Twitch is going to come after me. Twitch is going to come after me. Whatever. The OnlyFans available, chat. I'm not going to post the links here, but I'll post the social media uh, platforms where you can find the links. They are right here. There we go. Boom. There it is, chat. There it is. That's the Twitter. You'll find links uh, of the OnlyFans. There you go, chat. Boom. Not that it's a sexual content in nature. It's just, you know what? It's just fun fan fiction. OnlyFans shit. OnlyFans, it's just fan. That's the thing. It's not, it's not. Ah, fuck. I'll go ahead. Check this out. Check this out, chat. 
It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, you know, racy chat. There you go. You guys want to see it right there? It's just fan fiction. I'm just reading fan fiction, chat. I'm just having a fun time. Boom. There it is, chat. There it is. Just some fan fiction right there. No. No, the elite. No, I'm just having some fun. Funny fan fiction. That's all it is, chat. Just some funny fan fiction. What's, what? There's no big deal. I'm not selling anything, you know me. There it is, chat. There it is, my friends. You guys want to subscribe? $5 a month, access to all sorts of funny fan fiction. Three posts have been made, chat. Three videos have been made. Boom. Boom, baby. Oh, uh, whoa, dude. Thanks for the recommendation. Hey. You're going to have a great time with it. Promise. Man, and I bring our records to the counter register. A young girl with a septum ring and a buzz cut stands behind the counter with one of your butt in. Casual stuff today, Matt? Hey. Just some light pickups. Matt places three albums on the counter. Swear I'm good at this by Diet Sig, Forever My Mystery Skulls, and Greatest Hits by Remo Drive. Narcha, it looks like your Twitch career is going to uh, be short lived. You have to uh, focus on your only thing. Yep, gotta do it. It's over now, chat. <laughs> Patreon only fans. <laughs> Tight. Hey. Cashier rings up. Uh, cashier rings up man and hands back his albums in a bag. She stares at me suspiciously. Who's the nerd? <gasps> that nerd is my buddy, Daddy DeVito. This beacon of human charm is Molly. I got kicked out of art school for destroying my paintings at the end of every critique. Lovely to meet you, madame. Anyway, man, is the open mic still on? Hey. You know it! Are the third waves gonna do a special acoustic performance? I might see if I can get a few of the girls together. Ayo! There's an open mic night going on? Oh. Yeah, dude, we do it every month at the Coffee Spoon, so amazing talent always comes through. Got a flyer for it here. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do her voice like this, chat. It's her new voice. I got a flyer for it right here. Oh. You and Amanda should come by that night. Matt blushes. I mean, if you're not doing anything, oh, man. will Vacant Veil be playing? Hey. If only. I finished paying for my record and we head out of the store. Do I even have a record? I don't even think I have a record player. I don't think I have that. Man, what a trip down memory lane. I haven't been in a record shop like that since fans had a shag competent. Mm. Now that you mention it, isn't it strange to think of all those weird little musical memories? How do you mean? Well, I think music is a very uh, time and place sort of thing. A song is important to, uh, to me not only in that I think it sounds good, but where I was and what I was doing when I listened to it. There's music that reminds me of my exes, struggling through school, of being so poor I didn't know where my next meal was coming from. Hey. All that stuff. And listening to those songs reminds me of those moments of my life. Yeah, now that I think of it, even the pop concert man that made me take it to is special to me. I mean, I'm not really a fan of the band, but hearing the songs in the radio reminds me of how young and excited Amanda was. Oh. And that even reminds me of a younger me, going to see my favorite bands in concert with all my friends. We always go to my friend Cynthia Chapman's house. Excuse me, Chad. Before it, and smoke pot in her basement. Like they were so slick, your parents definitely knew what we were doing. Wait, when was the last time you smoked pot? Matt stops and thinks for a moment. It's been decades. Dude, me too. Where do you even get pot now? Is it even where the kids call it these days? I don't fucking hmm. know. I don't know. Hey. But I bet I can find out. Do you want to get high and listen to our new records? <gasps> Say no to drugs. I can't be a bad influence on my daughter. Huh? Nah, man. I think I'm good. Oh. It, uh, it's a little juvenile, I guess. Let's go back to my place and listen to them. I can't do drugs, Chad. I can't do drugs. I can't set a bad example for my daughter. Man, I walk back to the cul-de-sac and into his house. I sure hope. Goddamn right, very responsible. Goddamn right. Dave DeVito's uh, uh, eyebrows and mustache so sharp. Sure Thank you, Super Tupai. <laughs> about the, uh, I hope he isn't bummed about the no weed thing. Oh. We see listen to the Diet Sig album and Matt bot, which is catchy as hell. I look around the room and again see foes to come and see the growing up. I spot a young woman with a huge smile in one of the pictures with the two. Who's that? Oh, that's Rosa. Uh, I don't know if it's just Carmesita's mother. She died when Carmesita was young. Oh, no! I'm sorry to hear that. Man, I lost Alex at a young age, too. I can understand how that must have been. 
I look around and get spotted a framed gig post hanging on the wall. Uh, there's an illustration of Matt and Rose surrounded by flowers. The cursive lettering reads, Stillness to Dancing. Looks like they playing the sound of God over a decade ago. Very nice place. Uh, were you doing a band together? Oh. Yeah. That was the reason I was uh, touring so much when I was younger. Traveled the whole country in this rinky-dink little van. It's hard to start, but once we started uh, getting it right and seeing how much our songs meant to kids, it was just incredible. Wow. That's the only like, like, uh, some people only dream of. Hey. It was. It was all at the same time. I could have done it without someone by my side. Rose and I knew that we couldn't. Uh, Rose and I knew that we couldn't do it forever. In the long hours on the road, miss your family, sleep in the van, and all that stuff. Uh, hey. so once she became pregnant with Carmen Sita, we put down roots in our favorite town to play in, right here. Since she was a kid, was had a dream to own a quiet little coffee shop. She uh, she had before it opened. I'm so sorry. Hey. Don't be. Not really sure what to say. I could possibly count the number of times I told people the same thing after Alex died. Hey. Back is the, the record next to the turntable. I know it's a dusty piano. Do you play? Ah, oh. oh, I'm out of practice. I used to jam out on the keys back in the day. Hmm. Oh, yeah? I fronted the hottest seven-piece ska band the Eagle Rock Bass High School had to offer. Hey. No way. You had a ska phase? Please, ska never dies. Oh. Except for Scamonus Manifesto, who broke up after the senior talent show to pursue solo careers. Hey! Dude, that's so rad! Matt pulls out the piano bench. Hey. Give me some of that two tone love. Oh, man. Let's see if I still got it. Hey. I sit down at the piano. Go over classics. Stick with your sky roots. Anyway, here's Wonder Here's Wonderwall. Play Wonderwall! <laughs> Stick with my roots. Hey, think I'm doing it. I'm playing sky! Hey. Wait, that was just smoke on the water. Matt, I forgot how to play. <laughs> mm. Deep Purple is always appreciated, nonetheless. All right, buddy, can you top that? Hey. I, uh, shouldn't. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, no, man. I'm, it's been a long time. Never too late to get back into it. Matt, you just sat through a butchered version of Deep Purple Smoke on the Water. How much was can it be? I'm going to tell you right, Jeff, tell you right on it. <laughs> Matt says the piano for a second. Mm. Okay. Mm. Whoa, I'm a... Uh, okay. There were large eggplant-like things. Matt closes his eyes and runs his finger over the keys. It's like it's like the guy from Soul. It's like I'm Bane and Joe Gardner here, chat. Wow. He breathes in deep and starts playing a melody. I, if I didn't know that he hadn't played the piano a long time, I would never guessed it. Matt plays a soft, sweet tune filled with emotion. I never heard this before. Is this one of his original works? This is so cool. Hey. Matt finished the song. I finally opened his eyes. Hmm. How was that? I'm going to kiss him. That was amazing. Hmm. Oh, it's nothing. Come on, man. That was killer. Are you going to pull that out of the open mic night? Oh, oh no. I never play at those. Well... Why not? You're really good. Hmm. It's just, I just don't do it anymore. I don't like being up there and alone and having so many people stare at me. It doesn't feel fun anymore. I can sense that Matt's getting comfortable at the thought of it. I won't push him any further. All right, man, but I hope you know how beautiful your music is. Like your luscious ebony body. Anyway, uh... th 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 thanks. Hey, yeah. Man, I sit and listen to more records until it gets late. And I start out here to get to bed. Matt walks me to my door. Hey. Night, dude. I smile. Night. Chad, it's working. I walk inside the house. His dog saved with a uh, sliver of light coming from beneath Amanda's door. Eh? I knock loudly on the door in Amanda's room. She's sitting at a desk of her camera editing photos. Hey, Amanda Panda. Man, it swivels around in chair and faces me and slumps down. So, what's up? Mm. Dad, I'm hungry. Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? <laughs> ah. Wait, no. Hi, hungry. <laughs> no, I'm dead. Ah! <laughs> Amanda collapses on the floor. I, I promise myself I never let it come to this. Sorry, kiddo. You set up. I spike it down, baby. You're a monster. Want some spaghetti? 
Yes, please. I can go for some spaghetti right mm -hmm. now, Chad. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. Amanda and I boil pasta. He have sauce in the pan. Why boil pasta? He have sauce. Oh, Amanda watches. Despite my best efforts, I'm not able to set it on fire. Huh? How was record collecting? It was great. Do you know that man used to play in a band? Hmm. No way. Was he good? I don't know if the band was good, but he played some piano for me tonight, and it was amazing. All right. He played piano for you? Dude. Yeah. I bought it up, and he should play at the open mic night that's happening in his coffee shop, but he got kind of weird about it. <laughs> hey, I saw a flyer for that. We should go. It's not too late for a father daughter punk band to play a couple tunes there. <sighs> eh. Yeah, let me break out my... Glock and spit spiel. I think I only know hot cross buns. We can work off the chord progression. And man, I have a nice dinner before she goes back to him and to do photography stuff. I end up watching True Life. I'm a house hunter. The stage intervention for the house hunter who is crying controllably over the color of the walls. They know they can paint the walls of their house any color they want, right? Matt's son is stuck in my head all night. Transition. Dad did my love it. It's people about the mysterious hand tattoos. True. Day complete. Oh my god, give me what are you gonna give me? Yeah! Hey! I'm down for an on. I'll accept it, baby. I'll accept it. Man is lusting after me. Daddy DeVito. It's wonderful, Chad. It's wonderful. Grow your own vegetables. It's cheaper, I think. No, it's not. It's very expensive. As a fucking lie. Well, it's been a long day. I'm just about ready to pack it in. Uh, this one should do a commentary on uh, KOTOR. I'll play that someday when I hit uh, partner. When I hit partner someday, child, I will play Knights of the Republic. A very important game to me. No question about it. No question about it. Gotta maintain that 75 average viewership, though. It's hard to get to it. Someday, though, Jeff. No doubt about it. I'm about ready to pack it after a few bites of ice cream in the freezer. I turn off all the lights and walk down the hall to my room. Mm. What if a man, the panda, still awake? The kid needs some sleep. As I pass the room, I can hear a faint sound, but can't quite make out what it is. I get a little closer. Is she crying? No! I knock jelly on the door. Hey, Manda. Manda Panda? The cry merely stops. Not right now. Her voice sounds strange. She sniffles. Oh, no. George, I looked up a fried egg shirt online. Think of cosplay. Yes, cosplay is Danny DeVito. We will start our own religious group chat. Yes, we will worship the Daddy DeVito. <laughs> I'm thinking of the chair. I, I need that. I need. I need all of this. I need all of this chat. I need. I need. I need that. I'm gonna be my daughter. I want that desperately. I need to make sure she's okay. I open the door. <laughs> oh, she sounds sad. No, she's crying. I'm sad. In the dark, I see a man is out in the middle of a bed, knees hugged up against the body. No! Who do I have to kill? What boy do I have to kill to make you feel better? Is everything okay? I don't want to talk about it. Did something happen? Did something happen? No! Nothing happened! Go away! Oh! Something must have happened. Amanda! <sighs> Get out! Oh! Okay. Okay. <laughs> I quickly leave her room and shut the door behind me. Once the door closes, I can hear her crying again. Oh, no! Oh. Oh. Wow. What has her so upset? She seemed fine early. I, I, I don't understand. She was so open with me. Did I do something wrong? Is she mad at me? I, I guess if she wasn't before, she definitely is now. I can't remember the last time she snapped at me like that. I have a hard time falling asleep. But when I finally do, I'm still thinking about Manda. My Manda Panda. Wow, this is right. Uh, my grandpa like I could ever yell at my parents to get out of my room. <laughs> After a long night of very little sleep, I roll to bed and make myself a pot of coffee. Here she'll be out for school soon. Uh, maybe she'll be willing to talk about whatever's bothering her. Hmm. About ten minutes before she's supposed to leave, Manda comes out of her room and makes a beeline for the freezer. Morning, Manda. Morning. She drops the frozen waffle into the toast and slams the freezer door. She won't look at me. Yikes. So, anything big going on at school today? Uh. No. Okay. Do you need a ride to school? No. Want some coffee? Amanda pulls the toast level up and takes her still fr uh, freezer burn waffle out before it's finished cooking. Andy, what are you doing? I have to go. No. Amanda picks up her bag and storms out. Oh. Okay. Oh. I'm 
sad. Now I brought in my daughter's mad. She's mad. And uh, I think something happened. She was crying. And I tried to ask her. And she just she just told me to go away. And I was very sad. I don't want Man to be sad. It's bad. It's getting bad. Nah, it's getting very bad. I haven't seen it act like this in a long time. It's usually short lived, but it always hurts. It always hurts. <laughs> Hopefully, this blows over and things are back to normal soon. I sit back at the kitchen table and look at the picture of a man that I hate on the wall, and I'm teaching her to ride a bike. Face the mixture of excitement and it's pure, unadulterated fear. She's horrified. What's going on? I remember how determined she was. Every time she would fall off and scrape her knee, she would get up and try it again. Finally, I had to stop her because she was bleeding everywhere. <laughs> so much fucking blood. You won't believe it. I had to take her to the hospital. It was crazy. You want to talk to her? That's Charlie. Charlie, fucking talk to my daughter, Charlie. <laughs> Tell her that we're trash people now. It's dark. Okay, I was popping in for a quick minute. I gotta roll out now. Everyone stay safe and stay warm. Yes, yeah, stay safe, stay warm. Right here to what Missy Tucker said. Chat, please do check out Missy Tucker's streams. Give him a follow, give a description if possible. He's a great streamer. Great streamer. Great husband, though. Great husband, though. Indeed, chat. Please do check out Missy Tucker's streams. I appreciate that. And she started grabbing because she didn't think she needed bandages and wanted to keep trying. As I put the bike away, she stood in the middle of the street and screamed. And I took her for ice cream. It was like nothing even happened. I, I, I just got to stuff it with ice cream. I got to stuff it with ice cream in her tummy. That's all I got to do. And after giving a bit of thought, I decided that if I force her to talk about it, I'm only going to make things worse. But I have an idea. Ice cream. I start rummaging around for ingredients. Ah, here we fucking go, baby. I got it now. Like ice cream cake. It's I hear a man to walk in the door instead of heading to the... Do I have a fucking job? It's, I hear a man to walk in the door. Instead of heading for the kitchen... I mean, I guess I'm looking at my, husband, my dead husband's insurance money. I get you like she usually does. So it's a beeline for a room. She's clearly trying to avoid me. Hey, pumpkin. What? Can you come here for a sec? Get the food in your stomach. Stay happy with the, the booze. You're right, Mr. Tucker. You're right. You're right, you're right. You're right. I'm happy to tell you. I'm happy to shut you out. It's a moment of silence... Yeah! I wanted to say sorry about last night. I'm just worried about you, kiddo. I get scared when I know something's wrong. I get more scared when I feel like I can't do anything about it. Dad, I. So just... She's going to tell, she's gonna tell me she's pregnant. I'm going to be very upset. So just like whatever it is, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but whatever it is, just so you know, you have a dad in your corner who wants you to be happy. I just want you to be happy. That's all I ever do. Happy, healthy. Make good choices. Make good choices. Hmm. Honey... You know, I'm bad with words. So I could speak a language we both understand. I pull a cake out of the refrigerator. And place it on the table. Hopefully the frosting is set by now. Ta-da! Dad. It took me a really long time because I ran a red frosting somewhere around sad. And I start over and sorry you're sad, but I support you 100%. Yeah. Ah. This is beautiful. It's strawberry, your favorite, honey. Man gives me a big old hug. Hell yeah. I grab some plates and forks so some delicious cake. So, it's really stupid. What is? This whole thing. I know I've been really weird lately. And there's just... I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like I might have to make you a chart. I'm listening. Do you want me to take notes? Hmm. I guess I should start from the top. So you know Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California, right? Emma R... CT Sin, thank you so much for the six biddies, my friend. What consoles is on? I haven't been on the stream. I'd like to get to see you, CT Sin. Hope you're doing very well. I am currently playing Dream Daddy Dad. This is on. This is on a lot of things. It's on the PS4. I believe it's on PC. Might be on Nintendo Switch, but I'm not sure. It's, uh, but it's definitely on PC. I'm playing on PS4. Yeah, the one who puked and uh, puked and dead Gotham Beyond, the best friend. The other one <laughs> is it the other one. I guess you're not technically wrong. <laughs> it's good to have fallbacks like that one. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, ever since we got that acceptance letter, I've been feeling like she's drifting away, you know. And she's been spending a lot of time with Grace and Emma P. I just thought it was all in my head for a while, but then I found out from Rosie M. That both of the Emmas, Grace and Noah, all went to a party at Mackenzie F's. On the same night, they all told me that they were busy studying for the Cal AB final. Yikes. Ooh, that's not good. So, another important piece of information is, uh, missing target. Thank you for getting sub to Bill Casey. Thank you for all the support tonight, Chad. Miss Target, thank you for your generosity. It helps out, helps out a lot. Thank you so much.
Thank you, Missing Target. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very, very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Wawa Wiwa in D. Jordan Saloon. Hmm. Ah, congratulately, Bill Casey. You're proud of the five months of ad-free viewing. The problem with that, I make my dramatic acts. Thank you, Mr. No, enjoy your evening. Stay warm. Stay safe. So another important piece of information is, oh, God, this is embarrassing. I am, I am having a crush on Noah, and uh, that's a thing. I knew it. What? Whoa. I had no idea. I definitely didn't know that. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I knew she had a fucking crush on Noah. I knew it. She was lying to me, but I let it pass over. It's fine. She likes boys. I do, too. But it's fine. You're a bad liar. So are you? I learned from the worst. I learned from the worst. Uh -huh. Anyway, so the only person I told about the crush was Emma R. And she promised to not tell anybody. I didn't confront them about the party thing because I didn't want to start drama. So I kept quiet and kept going around about my business. Amanda sighs. And then one day, I invite everybody out to get nachos at the mall. And after not texting me back for like two hours, even though none of them ever put their phones down for more than 60 seconds, they all say they're busy, like simultaneously. So I tell them, never mind, I'll just eat nachos at home. Right. We were out of chips, and I really, really want nachos. Totally understandable, I understand. Ugh. So I go to the mall anyway. I get to the food court, and who do I see there but Grace, Emma P, Emma R, and Noah, all hanging out together and eating nachos without me. <gasps> I'll fucking kill him. What? Mm. It gets better. I'm standing by the escalators watching him, and I realize that Noah has his arm around Emma R, which is kind of weird, right? But they then they kiss. No. <laughs> yes, I know. So I sit over there and I'm like, hey. And Grace drops a nacho on her shirt because of course she does. And my arch just like glares at me. Grace. Grace. Nothing is coming up. I don't know who that is. Grace is the uh boing one. Gossipy one. Did she poop the bed too? <laughs> Gossipy, what? Did she poop the bed? <laughs> but go gossipy. <laughs> I know! Nailed the dad senses tingling chat. I achieved victory. Oh. This is the one everyone really likes. Or I guess that's me now. Oh, shit. But anyway, nobody will say anything. I'm just like, you guys suck. Which I really is not the most eloquent thing to say. But I was very angry and really embarrassed. I just wanted to get out of there. So I left without nachos, might I add, which only really contribute to the shitty day. And I'm really drafted a super long text to the group chat asking why they've been so weird. And I wrote another one to Emma R asking how long the Noah thing's been going on. And sorry, I know that's a lot. You still following? What did Emma R say? I'm a little confused, but I think I understand. I have no idea what's happening. No, I, I got it. What Emma I said, oh, oh, okay. Get a load of this. Emma R says, you know what? Let me just read it to you. Amanda pulls out her phone. It reads, word for word, an obviously long string of text messages. It's too much. It's too much. I, I'm going to get overwhelmed. Hmm. Can you believe that? I cannot believe that. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. I care so much about Amanda's social life and Amanda's well-being, but man, do I not understand what she's talking about? Is he all beyond me? But I'm trying my hardest to be support. I love my mm -hmm. daughter. But she's my man. You're my man the panda. You're always going to be my man the panda. When I'm dead and you're like on your deathbed, I'll be like, you're my man the panda still. Even when you're all atrophied and dying, you're still my man the panda. They were dating in secret for life. Like months. <gasps> so I told her that she's been a really terrible friend. She has. And she's like, well, if you think I'm so terrible, then just drop, stop being my friend. And I was like, okay. And then she left me on read. And then, wait, left me on read? What's that? I don't understand. Oh, like, she saw my message and didn't reply. And I... No, because there are read receipts. I don't know what read receipts are, but I'm just going to nod and pretend I understand. Gotcha. So while this is all happening, I'm talking to Emma P about how mad I am because she's at least being kind of reasonable. And I'm venting to her about how pissed I am about everybody and stuff. Aww. And then out of nowhere, to know text me, he's like, how can you say that about me? And I like say, what, are you, wh wh what about you? And he tells me that Emma P sent me screenshots of everything I told her to the group that I got kicked out of. All right, I think you lost me in screenshots, but that definitely sounds bad. Uh. Joy, I'm uh, phone's done, but I'm too tired to boot up the PC. Now, everyone, keep warm. Stay the fuck at home. Joy, thank you for the support. Have a great evening. Thank you. Uh, and and say, well, you stay warm, too. Stay warm. No problem, no. Fam uh, family loves eggs, Joey. The family loves eggs. Joey's no, no question. No question, Joe. There's so much more, but honestly, it's all just really stupid teenager stuff. The bottom line is that everybody dropped me. Half of my grades hate me. Uh, and now I have no friends. Oh, no. Oh, Amanda. 
I'm so sorry. I was expected from everybody else, but... Uh. I've always been there since Dad died. I can't believe she would just... Stab me in the back like that. I'm not even that mad that she's dating Noah. I'm just upset that she lied to me about it for so long. The man who stabs the remnants of her cake. Okay, I take it back. I'm kind of mad she's dating Noah. Like, what did I do wrong? Why would just suddenly decide I'm not cool anymore? Was I enough? I don't understand. You know, as bad as I am at everybody, like, I miss them, Dad. The man looks so dejected, I almost can't take it. Well, what could I possibly say to help? Chat, I don't, I, I, I don't know. Hmm. Anyways, that's it. That's the whole sort of tale. Thanks for listening. Tune in next week for more hot gossip. Wow. I know it's pretty dumb. It's kind of dumb. It's not dumb. It's not dumb. It's not dumb. No, it's stupid. Uh, stupid thing to be upset over. Man, your feelings are real. Don't ever be mad at yourself for having feelings. I got feelings. You got feelings. Okay? I guess. Unless you've secretly been a robot who's been approximating human feelings this whole time. Dad, if I was a robot, I would have transformed into a monster truck a long time ago. I understand, but seriously. I know you probably don't want advice, but I feel like it's my duty as a dad to bestow upon you a few nuggets of fatherly wisdom. No friendship lasts forever. Your friends don't do that. High school, so high school does sucks. Real friends don't do that. Real friends don't do that. It's true. When you get older, you start realizing that some people you want to associate yourself with, do you really want to surround yourself with people who would do something like that to their friend? There's a lot of work to find and maintain meaningful friendships. It does. It's true. It took me a long time to figure that out for myself, and I wish I had learned it sooner. If the other person is putting the effort in to show you how much they care, it's not worth it. You're not beholden to them being their friend. Ultimately, I think this was more about the character than it does about yours because you're amazing. And if they can't see that, well, that's their fucking problem. Fuck them! I'm going to tell you right now, fuck them. I'm going to go down the goddamn block. I'm going to get I'm gonna get my fucking shotgun. Okay, you don't tell anybody, but I got my, got my goddamn shotgun. I'm going to go down there. You tell me these MEPs, MRIs, no, whatever the fuck they are. Boom. They won't even know. They won't fucking know. You got, I, I, I scratched out. I scratched out the fucking uh, uh, number on it. So they can't trace it back to me. So you tell me what I am. I'll fucking take him out with my boys. I got Matt. He's the barista. He'll kill me. He'll give a fuck. He'll do whatever I do. Do whatever I do. I got you. I got you, man, Panda. Don't you worry about that, okay? Fuck him. I'll keep that in mind. I'm sure you will. <laughs> I looked down at the table. Did we just eat that whole cake? Oh, my God. Our tummies must be so big. Huh. Yes, we just did eat that whole cake. Welp, good talk. Amanda gets up to go to her room and waddles to her room. <laughs> when she goes to the door, she turns around. Hey, Pops. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You're always welcome. Love you, Amanda. I love you, too, Dad. <gasps> I love you, too. I love you, too, Dad. <laughs> Don't trust anyone who likes to meet well done. Ah! You got Dad. I got Dad's shit. It was a good conversation. What the fuck does Craig want? Hey, buddy, I have to ask a favor. I ain't going to respond to him. Fuck you. And my daughter. There's Dad. But Dad, listen, this is for you from the past. How's this happen? Oh, my God. You got Dad's. I got a lot of damn. I'm lusting after match. I'm sort of lusting after Matt. Fuck this. What the fuck does Craig want? What the fuck does he want? I'm, I'm lusting after Matt. I don't got time for fucking I got time for you last time I played this goddamn game. So you fucking take it easy. You park your ass down there. I'm done with you. You didn't fucking... You didn't want to... You was, it was a fucking fling to you. It was a fling to you. Matt might be, you know, the one. That's the way it is, Chad. That's the way. But now, my friends, now. I must move over to Sonic. It is Sonic 2006 time, chat. We made some progress. We went on some dates. We had some good times. Good times were had, chat. I like this. Her, her, uh, one of her friends was lying to her. About going out, uh, 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 and being in a relationship with one of the boys she liked. And they said that, oh, we're, we can't hang out because we're busy studying. And so she went by to the mall and she found them all hanging out. And she saw that Emma P or and or R was smooching Noah. And, uh, one of the two was lying to her. They were fucking lying to her and it was awful. And it made me so mad and I threatened... I said, like, Manda Panda, I love you, my daughter. I will go down there and I will kill them all. I will kill them all for you. I don't give a shit. I'll make sure they hurt. Okay? No one lies to my fucking daughter. 
I will cause them intense physical pain before giving them the sweet release of death. This is what I was. This is what I was doing. It's time to go six time. Just when I felt like it was worth living. <laughs> uh, she's my daughter. <laughs> Right on, goddamn right on. <laughs> Just over like Liam Neeson. <laughs> yeah, goddamn right. Over that fence. Ah! I'm um, on some Mel Gibson father friend. For goddamn right I am. God, right, but we gotta save the game shit. We gotta save this goddamn game. All right. I gotta save right on dad book. And I gotta, I gotta continue on my dates with Matt. This will be good. This will be very good. I'm very excited. This game is super fun. No, I'm glad. I hope you guys are enjoying Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator chat. But now we're gonna go ahead and do an hour. We're gonna do an hour. We're gonna do an hour chat of the Sonic. Of the Sonic. Also, I'm gonna talk about some other platforms in just a bit. Ooh, hold on, chat. Hold on. <laughs> 